All right, hey guys, so today I got another product review and I got a, a new toy for me to fool around with today. It's, it's actually, it's not new, it's new to me. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a demo version. It's not really used, but it's not really new. And it's this, it's the Linseon um, Camp Car Refrigerator, Linseon. I'll leave a link on it uh, in the description for you, L-I-N-S-I-O-N. Um, it, it's it's a Chinese made uh, car refrigerator and I got you know AC plug for it and um, a 12 volt cigarette lighter type plug for it um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out before I actually go out and use it I'm gonna test it out in the garage and to see how good it is and I'll let you guys know um, my reactions to it to see if it's any good but I, I think the size is great it's 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 18 liters um, you know it's not big too big at all it's it's you can see it's it's pretty lightweight um there's just a few of these touch touch controls on top it's not too heavy and it's not too big and that's important I, I i actually don't want it to be too big that's for sure and of course in the name of science i, I can't can't use the beer in my refrigerator that's already cold i mean i can't test it doing that so i went out and we got some beer to, to put into this sucker uh, to see how well it, it cools down beer from room temperature or garage temperature. Um, and we're gonna see how that goes. Well, maybe uh, the designers of this had cans in mind because uh, two stacks up really nicely, quite perfectly. Uh, this is a 12 pack uh, Lagunita something something ale. Um, and it, it'll cover up the bottom, plus two, plus two for one more thing. Um, so if you, know, if you do stack it up this way, it's gonna be the same thing. You can have two extra somewhere, uh, but it, it might be to your advantage to stack it like this and have some meat or something there. Let's make sure it closes. Okay, so it closes, uh, stacked up three deep, uh, you know, kind of staggered like that. So it does close, you know, here's the lip. You can see there, there's still a little bit of room, but not a lot. Um, if you were to stack it right on top of each other like that, I bet you it won't close with three. You would have to uh, do it staggered like this, which, uh, you know, makes sense so that your cans don't move around anyway when there's all this room for other things. I, I guess vegetables, I guess, but uh, you got to make sure you got room for the beer. All right, so let's uh, plug this thing in and, and give it a go. I have it plugged into the AC adapter uh, going into here, and it, it's set at 24 degrees Celsius, and I guess you could change it. You want to freeze. So it goes free. That's, I see. So you just leave your finger on it if you want it to go a little bit faster. Uh, let's say I don't want I don't want to freeze my beer. So let's say five degrees Celsius, I guess. We'll give it a shot and we'll see if that works. So it's on and you hear the fan going. Oh, I see, 24 degrees must be the, the ambient temperature and not to what this thing is set at. Uh, so what did I set it at again? Uh, five degrees, maybe I had it at six and I just changed it to five, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. Less than 10 minutes later, you can see it's already down to 20 degrees inside. Well, I wonder how accurate this is. Around 15 minutes later, it's already down to 7 degrees Celsius. Uh, maybe the, the temperature inside is 7 but uh, or 6 now, but I'm sure that the cans couldn't possibly be that cold already. But uh, I'm just going to wait until it gets to... Well, now it's 5. Let's give it a shot. It just shut down. Did you hear it? No more uh, fan. Let's feel it. Mm, no. No, I wouldn't drink that. It's colder, but I wouldn't drink it. So, 
Let's see, I think I'm gonna need to set this thing a little lower. Let's go two. I turned it down, but uh, the, the fan is not kicking back on. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, after the fan shuts off for a while, it, it has to rest for a certain period of time, or the compressor, before it turns back on again. So I'm, I set it at, at two degrees, and now it says three. But um, this time, even though when it, it hits the temperature, I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple of hours because that's that's what my refrigerator would need, a few hours to cool down the, the beers to a drinking temperature. So I'm just gonna leave it closed and, and just let it do its thing for a while. And in the name of science, I need to uh, refresh my memory as to what a cold beer should taste like. So when I taste the contents inside, I'll have a good point of All reference. Right. So I'm back three hours later, almost three hours, and it reads two degrees. Let's feel how cold it is. Wow, not bad. That that feels like it's uh, definitely drinking, drinking quality coldness. Not bad. And you can see there's actually some condensation going on there. All right, not bad. Um, next up, uh, right now it's it's plugged into this outlet, so I want to test that it has the same performance using um, a 12 volt. Supply. Time for that taste test. Two degrees. Yep, that's actually exactly how I like my beer. I think it's perfect. Right, so for my next test, I wanna uh, do it in a way that's more reflective of how I might be running this with a solar panel, a battery, and a charger. So things are wired up a little bit uh, loosely right now, so please don't give me a flack over that. But it is connected to the battery right now, and it is running. And it's set to two degrees just like previously and we're gonna see if this cools off and I, I allowed these cans to cool off uh, for overnight at least to, yeah for, so it's, it's back to room temperature again so we're gonna try to duplicate the same test and to see if it works just as well off the batteries. Let's give a look almost four hours later can't see it, but it says three degrees. Uh, the compressor's running. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely nice and cold. Uh, I'd say it's not yet where I'd like to drink it, but um, also you could really feel even the white. It's very hot in, in this sun. It's, it's around. It's high 80s today, maybe even low 90s, and the black part's very hot. So I, I'm purposely leaving it out in the hot sun just to see how well it performs. It, it's doing pretty well. All right, it's uh, it's around six hours later, actually five hours later, and the compressor is currently off. It's at two degrees. You probably can't see the uh, sun. Um, let's feel the. Oh yeah, it's it's cold, but I'm gonna say it, it's not as cold as I would like it to drink yet. Let's keep trying. Six hours later, uh, let's see how it's doing. It's registering two degrees right now. Um, everything else seems to be okay. It's charging and there's a decent amount of batteries. Let's see how cold it is. So I brought, for reference, one from my refrigerator that I like the temperature of. Yeah, I don't got a, a thermometer, but my hand thermometer says this is slightly less cold than this. But that could just mean that my refrigerator is set lower. But I would definitely drink this. Definitely, no doubt about it. So I, I think uh, it might have a slightly harder time in the heat of the sun uh, running on the batteries uh, to stay cool but uh, I think that's pretty much expected for me it's, it's been a success I, mean, I, I tested it in a real world world situation where it would be hot whether in the sun or in my car and I would be running off a battery 
And I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy this beer because it's slightly colder. All right, last update. Uh, I let it run all night just to see if it'll drain the batteries. Right now you can see it's three degrees and the compressor is going well. Actually it just shut down to two and the compressor shut off. Um, taking a look at the battery indicator, it looks like the, the LED is a little bit lighter. I think yesterday you know, it was two bright reds and today it's one bright red and one dimmer red. But it was running all night uh, on uh, this marine battery. So I, I think it did a really good job. It doesn't consume too much power. And let's get, make sure everything's still cold. Yes, everything's still nice and cold. Drinkable temperature for sure. All right, and that's it. I, overall, I'm very happy with this refrigerator and I think it'll work out nicely.